Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to go over how to use the HANA calcium checker the right way. Alright guys, today we have the calcium HANA checker. So let's open it up and let me show you how to properly use this. Real quick guys, I do want to go over something real quick. Now HANA has their own water as well. Now, I'm just going to tell you straight up, you don't have to buy their water. Just, I'm just going to be honest with you. You can go to your local store and pick up a gallon of distilled water, and it's going to cost you under a dollar versus theirs. Just saying, got to keep it real, you don't need theirs. Even if you wanted to use your own uh, reverse osmosis, it's up to you. I prefer not to use mine just in case it's not reading right. I'll go to the store and actually pick up this instead. But I did get this just to sh tell you guys that you don't need this. If you want to, cool, buy it. If you don't, you don't have to. But I thought I would share that with you real quick before we move on with this video. So we have several things going on here. We have the convets, we have the actual HANA checker, we have the solution, reagents. Um, a, you might as well say a reagent A, B. Um, we have the pipette here. Now a lot of people had problems back in the day with this because it didn't come with this. Okay, this is very important. For example, I do have my sample water here from the tank. And real quick, as we're going to demonstrate though, I'm going to say it right now. So when you're grabbing your sample water, there's two levels. Here's the first stop, and then there's the second stop. You see that? There's one, and then all the way down is two. So what you're gonna do is, when it's time for you to grab your sample water, you're gonna go down to the first, slowly bring it up to draw in your sample water, and then when you put it in your uh, cavette here, you're going to go ahead, hit that first stop, and then squeeze it out. Go ahead, all the way down. So I thought I'd share that with you real quick, because that's very, very important. And for some of you that didn't have this, you can buy this uh, separate. Let's get this out. Now, we do have to open this up, so it comes with the battery. So, I'll open this up, I'll install the battery, and we'll be right back. Alright, we installed the battery here. We're going to grab one of the cavettes here. So, we'll pull out some of the stuff that we need. We need the pipette. Now, this is, this is only used for sample water. When I showed you at the beginning, you can use the deionized water from Hanna, or you can buy your own here and let's just get ready and let's grab us a, a sample pack here of what we're going to need so let's move this over to the side things that we will need okay this is a tip for this. And this is for the solution there. Okay, now that we got everything here, let's open this up. We do have a, a cover here, so I'll use my, whatchamacallit, to give me a clean opening all right so we got our checker here we got our solution now I made a video honestly just a little bit ago and I, I put it out and it's been a while since I've done it but what I what I did do is I didn't 
I, I put in my deionized water up to the 10 mils, then added um, tank water instead of my solution. Now, I probably should have went ahead and re looked over everything. I know it's been a while, but here we go. This is how we need to actually do it. So I don't want to drag this out. What we're going to do is take our one mil wrench here and grab exactly one mil of reagent A. So we're going to take our reagent A, we're going to stick our syringe in here, grab exactly one mil. Okay? So we'll get our bottom of our syringe to the one mil mark. We're going to add this into the cavette. Now, after we do that, tighten this up. We do need to grab one of these. Obviously. Now we're going to fill this up to the one mil. Now that should be nine mils of distilled water. And there's going to be a curvature in here. So you need to be at eye level so you can exactly see, make sure the curvature is actually on this line. So let's fill this up and get this going. get this so remember this part these parts is very crucial that we do this right because the last thing I want is somebody not get it right so that's why I'm redoing this okay curvature is good now we're gonna take this close this up we're gonna turn on our checker right here C1. We're going to give this a gentle so we can get proper mixture here. Make sure we wipe it down for fingerprints so we can give it a, a good reading. Make sure we're getting as best reading as we can when it comes to this. Appreciate anybody that actually said, hey, you might want to double check that, but totally right. And I think I went ahead and put 10 mils and then one mil, which would have threw things off. So, 10 mil facing me. We'll get uh, a reading, but before I, I push that, let's, let's get this ready. I like to get that, and that gives it time to get some of the air bubbles out from uh, mixing it. So we got that ready. And let's go ahead and give that a say C2 yet. Okay, got we have C2. Now we're going to open this up. We're going to open up the cavette. This is where we're going to grab our new pipette here. I'm going to go in, grab right here to the first, suck out my sample water, which is right here, down to the first slowly release it so it sucks it up then I'm going to put it in the cavette I'm going to stop at the first one and then go ahead and follow all the way through to make sure I get all my sample water so here we go bring it up slow got our sample water we're going to put it right in here and then push give it its final push and now we're going to get our Reagent B here. Make sure we get all the contents of it. Make your little funnel, as you see here, and get all the content in there. Then we're going to shake vigorously. Make sure all the everything is fully dissolved. Let me wipe this down while we're shaking. Fingerprints. And then what after shaking like that, I like to go like this back and forth a little bit just to help to disperse the air bubbles. Alright. So alright. Put that back 10 mil in the front. Close that up. 
go ahead and hit that and wait for our final results. All right, everyone, that is the proper way to do the testing. We got four, 480. Now, once this happened, I double checked this and I had 449. So, this is the proper way of using the HANA checker. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully that video is very useful, especially for newcomers that are actually coming into the hobby and heard about HANA. I think HANA products are one of the best products out there. Uh, I actually was introduced to HANA product, uh, products right here on YouTube. When I first, start, uh, first came out on YouTube, there were our, our other people already using it. The one thing uh, you would hear is a lot of negative about the calcium checker. So that pipette that gives you exact one milliliter of actually tank sample water did not come back in the day with that. So now it is available and it makes things 10 times easier. So once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's very helpful. If you guys have any comments, leave it down below and I'll respond to you as quick as I can. Thanks, have a great day.